Hi. Just plugging my amp. My guitar. Is anyone on here? I think I see a like. Ah. I see. Thank you for the compliment. My Spanish is not very good. It's actually non-existent. Well, I know some words. Hey everyone. So I've never, well actually I can't say never. I haven't gone live in like a year. I think I went live one time a year ago. So here I am doing it again. This is new to me, or the setup looks different. So I teach online guitar lessons. If you email Melanie Faye guitar lessons at gmail.com and you'll be able to is there a space in between there? It's not what I meant to do. I can't tell. Yeah, just Melanie Faye guitar lessons at gmail.com. Can I pin comments on here? Um I don't think so. So I teach guitar lessons, but today I wanted to come on live and talk about something. I wanted to teach something. I'm sure everyone on here is at different um, skill levels, but I just, I wanted to give a free live lesson on something. Okay. I'll give a lesson on this chord. I use this chord a lot. I could be up a little louder. Maybe I should cut my nails. Because I'm kind of struggling right now because my nails are too long. Yes, it's about that time. the Mustang American performer Mustang in Penny. That's the color. It looks rose gold in person, but they call it Penny on the website. But I want to talk about this chord right here. So you would think that this is an A minor nine. It's not. So this is a C major seven. So um, the, the bass note is not the root note. So the bass note is the fifth. The root is on the G string. So that's the C. And that's the third. And that's the seventh. So this is a C major seven. Yes, it could also be used as an A minor nine. But in this context, I'm using it as a C major seven. So it's the root or I'm sorry, it's the fifth root third and seventh of the C major seven chord. Because we're in the key of G. So C is the four of G. One, two, three, four. See that? And this and this, they're the same notes. They're just voiced differently. See, that's a C major seven. That's also a C major seven. This right here is C minor major seven. So this is 
a C minor with a major seven. So that's why it's called C minor major seven because you have the minor third on the bottom, right? Then you have the root, then you have the fifth, and then you have the major seven on top. So that's a C minor major seven. And if you take your ring finger off, now it's a C minor six. But then with the ring finger, C minor major seven. This right here, that's uh, <laughs> that's B super Locrian. So how would you play B super Locrian? Okay, well let's look at C major scale. If you were to play the C major scale but start and end on the seventh note of the C major scale, then you would get B Locrian. So if you were to start, instead of starting and ending here, if you started one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if you started and ended on the seventh note of C major, then you would get B Locrian. Yeah. So super Locrian, you flat the five, right? No, I'm wrong. You flat the four. So instead of one, two, three, four, that note, it's gonna be a half step down, flat four. So super Locrian would be. So, so super Locrian, so the difference between Locrian and Super Locrian is in uh, Super Locrian, you're going to flat the four. Yeah. So this lick, I removed the five. So instead of, like instead of, it's, I'm skipping over the fifth note. So one, two, three, four, five, that note, I took it out. So it became. So that. um. Yeah, I think I should have just uh, cut my nails before I came on here. So. That's, that's B super Locrian, and it fits over the C minor major seven chord. Yeah, it is called the altered scale. So super Locrian, you could call it super Locrian, the altered scale, the altered dominant scale, or you could call it the diminished whole tone scale, diminished whole, whole tone, which is confusing because it's not a diminished scale. It's still a dominant scale. But I guess you could think of it as a diminished version of the whole tone scale. So that's why it's called diminished whole tone. Yeah. Um, yeah. Wait, this is my first time on here. Oh, I can send custom emojis. Okay. Oh, I just sent some, all right. Wait, I can send myself super chat money. Huh. No, nah, I don't think I'm gonna do that. But yeah, that's, um, that's super low cream. If you wanna know more about this information, then, you know, I teach online guitar lessons. I'm about to teach one in four minutes. So email Melanie Faye guitar lessons at gmail.com. Think. You would think 
this right here is a B minor, but I'm not using it as a B minor. I'm using it as an E minor nine. So the chords are C major seven, C minor major seven, E minor nine. That's a G seven. Yeah, well, I have to teach a lesson now. So thanks for tuning in. And um, I'll, uh, I'll probably be back one day. Um, yeah. I'll be back one day. I'll probably be back tomorrow. Okay, well, now that I said it, then I would have to be back tomorrow because I can't say that I'll be back tomorrow and then not be back tomorrow. What does this button do? I'm scared to click it. It doesn't seem to do anything. There's a, a button that looks like a person running through a door. All right. Um, insert ad, huh? All right, well, thanks for tuning in. I'm out, but how do I end the stream is the question. Oh, there it is. <laughs>